to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. I'm ready. Bye, Dan. Bye, Dan. Jesse. Yes. I thought I was having a weird day. An Indian boy <laughs> was found with 526 teeth growing inside of his mouth. First thought of mine was, man, I bet he's a fast eater. Second thought was, Hope it's not- Shark Week. Yeah. <laughs> Third thought was, <laughs> hope he's not gay or his boyfriend's in for a fucking real howdy do. You right. Know? Do you have any other ones? No. Okay. No. Stop in um- there. <laughs> but a dentist took these out of his his skull and they're examining him to figure out why he was born with 526 teeth. Probably inbreeding. Oh God. Why would your mind go there immediately? Where was he? Where'd they find him? India. Oh, He's I don't know. Indian. No reason. He's an Indian. No reason. I won't go India. any further with why I thought that. Is that is that is there inbreeding big in India? Certain areas and religions. Which ones? The ones that do that type of stuff. Okay, I thought it was just a bunch of cow fuckers over there. Right. So apparently they're also into inbreeding as well. Mm-hmm. Ugh, gross. Yep. Way to sully a, a great story. Way to make it. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. That dirty. was a really great heartwarming story about the kid with five. What was it? Uh, 526 teeth. They were removed and he's got he's currently in this picture. He's wearing braces. Well, good for him. So what's to say they nice won't come thing. back? The, oh, the teeth. Can you imagine? Uh, they just keep regrowing. Oh, they pull them out and they just keep coming up. Wasn't there a horror he's film like, like part that? shark? Yeah, but there was a horror film with teeth growing in somebody's vagina. Do you remember the name of that? Mm. I think it was just called Teeth. I think it was just called Teeth. Scary Gash. <laughs> God. Gash and Gash, Attorneys at Law. <laughs> gash, Gash and Snatch. <laughs> attorneys at Law. I still we like should, it. We should tell the audience what this is, by the way. <laughs> Your dream is to have a, another podcast, a female podcast with another host. Yeah, where host, I can talk about stuff. Where it's just called Gash and Gash, awesome. Attorneys at Law. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's maybe the best idea you've ever had in your whole life. I mean, yeah. Kind of workshopped it with you guys, and I can't take, take total credit. I think D'Anthony said. It's like it was a round table. Eh. It was a brainstorming sesh. Uh, all right. But Gash, Gash, and Snatch is a new. No. Because there's always three, isn't I there? I like Gash, there ga- din, 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 Gash, din? and Gash attorneys at law. Just Gash and Gash? Yeah. Okay. Gash, and Gash, and Snatch is too long. Okay. It's too long. Mm-hmm. Um, Note taken. Yeah. Uh, Big news. This is breaking news. And this is, uh, what's past midnight? When my dawn goes past midnight. One? 12.30? (laughs) No, it's kind of just like off to the, off to the left, you know? Camera left. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, beyond midnight, permanent midnight, threat level midnight is what this boner is when I read this. Oh, okay. Stallone, hey, ooh, hey, and Dolph Lundgren, mm-hmm. Rocky, Rocky Four, obviously gotcha. Drago. I got it. I got all of it. It does. It does. You know, mm-hmm. are pitching a one-hour action drama to networks as we speak. What? Yeah, I am all in for it. Reportedly. All four majors are interested, as well as two streaming outlets. They couldn't say what the streaming outlets were. Probably Let's Hulu. just call it Netflix and Hulu. <laughs> yeah. I can't name any others. Can you? No. Yeah. Not strictly streaming, no. Yeah. Right? Hulu, Netflix. Yeah. Man, can you imagine those two together? Those two old poon hounds back at it again? Ah. HGH and, and Roman ED. Weren't they both in that uh, Expendables situation? Yeah. Yeah, Rocky okay. Expendables. They're old bros, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Dolph's got and like he looks great. Two by the PhDs. Way, Dolph. Both both of them look great. Both of them look great. They, they 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 go to the gym together and they get their pumps on. Hey, you just get some pumps on. How about, how about we get some pumps on? And Dolph just did a podcast that was 
I'm not going to say it was low level, but. Are you fist fucking I me? I think we could get him on. He didn't do this? He may. He's doing a circuit. He's doing the circuit. He's doing the rounds. Oh, I just we saw him on, on someone here. else's podcast that was, I believe, at our level. For those about to Dolph, we salute you. I want to get Dolph on this. He's great. He is great. He's kind of. Damn it, man. He's like quiet, right? He's very, he's soft spoken. He's very smart. I tell you, he's got like yes. two PhDs. Yes. And he, it was his choice to walk away from acting. I think he went to college and was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm an important man. I don't need to gargle out somebody else's words that are written I down love, on a piece of paper for me. I love when people do that. Right? It's crazy. When I, they I leave it for just real life. By the way, that, that last line was stolen from Bill Burr. Which uh, one? I, just, I follow his Instagram and he goes, uh, well, he's, he's doing a movie right now and he's got the, this huge mustache and he goes, well, time to go to the job where I just say somebody else's words that are written down on a piece of paper yeah, for exactly. me. Yeah, exactly. But uh, it's more than that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. And that is the, that's the bitch of it, right? <laughs> Actors try and make it seem like it's so much more than that. Oh, yeah. And it's not. Yeah. It's crazy, right? It is crazy. I've been, a, I've been a guilty of that for sure. We all have it at a certain point. Where if you were like, ever oh, an actor and that's what you strictly wanted to do, you were, you believed yeah. that it was so much more than that. And you believed that you were the most important person on the planet, on the film, no, on the film, like, right. Well, on the planet as well. I don't know if you felt like me, but you know, yeah, <laughs> another thing we're working on. No, nah, we're not working on anything, James. Uh, we are who we are. Kesha said that. Kesha said that, so. You know it's true, Jabes. You know it's true. Uh, also, breaking news for you and you Marianiacs out there. Mm. I don't, that's not a thing, but we're going to call it that. Call it is it a that. thing. Woo. Uh, give, it, give the Ooh. audience your, oh. your Marianne Williamson oh. voice. Oh, oh. Uh, me? Yeah. <laughs> now, don't call me woo-woo cuckoo. <laughs> Because I am serious, and the American people deserve to have a serious politician in office. <laughs> because this is hootenanny what's going on right now. Yeah. It's just one big hootenanny. It is, isn't it? And I... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guess who just endorsed her publicly? What did I say? Oh, dog! Yeah, what did I say on the news, dude? Oprah Breaking news. Winfrey. On the uh, Drinking Bros, fake news. Oprah Winfrey just... Oprah Winfrey and then Kardashian is probably going to come out later. She already did. She already did. You believe that shit? I mean, I'm, I'm actually shocked by this. And I'm, th this is no lie. What are you shocked by? That Oprah's endorsing her? Y yeah, like the craziness of it, of like slave reparations mm -hmm. and... You know, um, the first call she's going to make if she wins is to the president of New Zealand. Like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, all of it. The whole th theatrics of it. Mm -hmm. That somebody as esteemed as Oprah. Because let's face it, I, I still think if Oprah ran, she'd probably win. Well, she's Oprah's spiritual advisor. In real life? Yes. And she is... You're kidding, right? She has written 12 books. Four of them have been number one New York Times bestsellers. They're all self-help. Really? They're all self-help books. So she is, like when I say goop employees, when I said yesterday, like she is followed by those type of people, ah. right? And she is a spiritual advisor. She, her book, Return to Love, Return to Love, yeah. is like the most, it's like everyone's, that, that group's Bible. <sighs> They're spray Fuck. painting her all over New York, probably other places. But there's an image of her that's spray painted Obey, Obey style, right? All over New York. Really? Yes. And it's, but it's again, it's with, it's among elite, Alyssa Milano, Oprah, Kim Kardashian. For real people, yeah. no. But they love her. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to go down the uh, rabbit hole here with her. As far as what? Tears to triumph, spiritual healing from mm -hmm. modern plagues of anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what we got here. Ah. She's an activist, too. So she's been at all these, all Oprah's things, all the galas, all the things. So, like I said. I'm going to be real, dude. Her rankings aren't as high as, like, mine, which is shocking. Because um, I would have, no lie, I, I would have thought of this. I would have thought of her, I guess, 
after being on the debates, like, boom, you go through the roof, you know, you get, I mean, that's crazy exposure, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to look up her next book. Eh. This one's at 338. This is uh, A Return to Love. Is that the one you were talking about? Yeah. Got it. But it's been this out. This is 1996. Been out for a while. That's her Shit. most famous. Like I said, that's like her Bible. Wow. Right. Um, and the only reason I went down the rabbit hole with her and figured out all this stuff is that uh, I just think she's crazy and entertaining. And um, since nobody's going to win anyways, right? To me, it, on the Democratic side or whatever, to me, I'm just sort of, let me just endorse this. Do you know what I mean? Let me just follow this lady's path. I because I think it's interesting. Sure. And it would be interesting to see. It will never happen in a million years. But to see her debate Trump because they are just complete opposite on the other side of, of spectrums. Huh. I mean, craziness she wants to do, right? As I, crazy as people thought, build the wall, right? I, I want to change my tune then. If, since, so since Oprah's endorsed her and Kim Kardashian or whatever, uh, they're, now they're talking about putting it up, pushing it up to like maybe 10, 10 to 12 spots. Yes, in the I next heard 10. Team. Okay. Yeah. She might get in there with a push from Oprah. And that means we get mm -hmm. to see this crazy bitch longer with more airtime. Once I saw Oprah. You're going to have more airtime when it's down to 10. Absolutely. One, and and there, you'll have more airtime to more rope to hang yourself, basically. Oh, yeah. Um, but once I saw, like I said, when I was going down the rabbit hole after her first debate, when I saw that she was Oprah's spiritual advisor, I'm like, did Oprah just kind of put her out there? Because everyone's like, run, Oprah, run. And she's like, no, I'm not going to run. Did she tell this lady, all right, I'm not going to run. You go, you do it, and I'll endorse you. Man. I'll make it happen. Man. Um, we got breaking news right now. It just came through. Uh, two things. Sorry to interrupt you, James. I, I apologize. This is breaking news. Please. Deed, 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 deed. Yeah. Um, so today was the jobs reports. Mm -hmm. Trump. Set the all-time record, highest, most employed Americans have ever been in the history of our country. That's one. Right after that, this just broke. ASAP Rocky, freed from Sweden, allowed to come home. Trump just tweeted out right now, ASAP Rocky released from prison and on his way home to the United States from Sweden. It was a rocky week. Get home, ASAP. ASAP. Gang, gang, dude. Trump really is making America great again, <laughs> so dude. Come on. Stupid, dude. I didn't see Obama free mystical. Danger. Watch yourself. Right. Danger. What's going on I mean, with that? I mean, mystical, uh... to be fair, tied up his own, bar like a barber, um, mm -hmm. tied up his own uh, stylist and, uh, in a hotel for 30 days. But, right. Um, I didn't see Obama hitting the... Hitting the tweets for her for him, so mm -hmm. uh, Trump, dude, he got it done, brother. Come on, ASAP is out. I love it. Yeah, um, God, you know what's so weird about this? And again, I'm I'm really sorry for interrupting you. Um, I got a it's thing news. last okay. night. I got an email last night um, that he was to buy tickets for ASAP Rocky in L.A. And you're like, what the fuck? Exactly. I, I'm going to see if I can pull it up because uh, it's, I was like, I looked at it and I was like, do you know something I don't? Because this is bullshit. Because he for sure won't be able to make it to that. That's what I said. Yeah. Um, yes. Real Street Fest. Here's what it is. Um, so I got a, I don't know. I'm, I'm on one of those like Live Nation Ticketmaster things, right? So I got this, I get this, Yeah. This came in last night. Real Street Festival featuring ASAP Rocky, Cardi B, Future, and Migos uh, at the Honda Center, which is in um, uh, Anaheim. Mm -hmm. I was like, and, and the date is August 10th and 11th. So today's the fucking second. So you're like, what the fuck? The, yeah. I, and I remember old, laughing at myself like... before I deleted it. I was like, dude, you know something I don't? Because he's in prison right now. It, maybe real, the real street festivals in with Trump, you know? Man, 
These are the issues we all really need to be Listen, hard hitting. Listen, brother. Uh, have you read any any of? Uh, we'll, we'll backtrack now. I apologize for interrupting you again. Um, have you read any of uh, Homegirl's books? I have not. They are not my. Uh, they probably aren't my cup of tea. Okay. Uh, I might. I think I might. Uh, pop pop up Return to Love. I have like Audible, like free Audible or something. Yeah. yeah. So I might pop up Return to Love just to kind of know really, really what I'm dealing with. Mm. what i'm following what i'm backing what i'm endorsing yeah do you know what i mean i don't want to go blind no blindly into that but it's all about love a return to love an embracing of love and that's how we're gonna heal everything and um it sounds really really great in theory man right yeah like this picture's front and center her and oprah happier than shit that's oprah's spiritual advisor huh i didn't know she had one she has a couple. Um, she's very spiritual. Mm. Okay. Which I think that stuff gets very, um, I get very tired. I need one, I think. I just for, you, you know, wouldn't. Just for maybe, maybe a day, maybe. You wouldn't. Maybe 15 minutes. Uh, you would laugh. Russell Brand. The whole time. Probably. You would <laughs> be shaking your head and combative. <laughs> um, you'd be very uh, argumentative with them. It yeah. would become a debate, and um, you know, technologist isn't there for you to to there yet for nah, you to have that. I'd probably shake my dong at them too in anger. Right, like, you. A you. spiritual advisor? Can you fucking imagine? Ugh, I, I'd one sh- hour. Uh, man, I'd, I'd shake my dong at them like like it was mm-hmm. Palm Sunday. Like I'm just fucking throwing out water on people yeah shaking you take my tr- it out of the jar yeah shaking my twig at them and that is where you keep your penis yep in a, in a, in a formaldehyde jar because it's got to be clean it's got to be ready and uh if the apocalypse comes i want it to survive i want it to survive and live yep. on so generations and generations can study it so when technology is finally gone. there yeah yeah you can get it reattached uh the, by the way that jeffrey epstein he wants to, he in his will, he put that he wants his penis frozen and brought back to life. You're welcome for that. That's true. He wants his penis frozen. That and was a back that to was a story that, that was a story reported, by the way, in the New York Times, and that is no lie. He, there's he, so many questions. There's so much I know. more questions. He wants his then, penis cut off when he dies, frozen. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then how then, is it going to be back to life? Put no, on someone else. Put on someone else. Yeah. Or walking like one of those wind up. No, no, okay. it's gonna be a wind up. Thing. Come on, Jesse. No, I'm just saying. How does the penis just come back to life a bunch by of wind itself? Up dicks run around the they're city. Put it on the come back on. of a rat or something. <laughs> Ears and dicks. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Um, right. I'm sure. You know, somebody's gonna want a, an old white man's penis in the future. Yep. That's seen a lot of. Seen a lot of V's. Road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Traveled a lot of road. Where the rubber meets the road, <laughs> if you will. I won't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. No, I won't. Uh, it too is coming out, Jabes. Oh. You ready for some, that? I thought it was some movement that I need to know about. <laughs> Whoops. What did I do now? They're doing, um, they're doing clowns only screenings, which is why I bring this up. <laughs> And I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm being totally dead serious. What does that even mean? <laughs> oh, there's oh, so you have to dress up as a Get to dress clown? up as a clown and get in. Someone's going to get murdered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good place to Would murder somebody. Would you go? <laughs> no, that's exactly where someone's getting murdered and getting away with it. Yeah. All clowns. What did he look like? Uh, he was in a clown costume. Yeah. So we're you 200 won't find other him, people. Will you? Yeah. Yep. You won't be able to find him. Man, it'd be, it's just going to be hard seeing the screen around the red balloons, you know? And the fucking bozo uh, rings and boo. the big feet on the back of the fucking chair. Boo. Boo. There was a picture of a, a friend of mine from high school that he posted, and he was on, the, uh, on a boat facing the lake or a river. Okay. And he's going bald, like a huge circle in the back. And, sure, uh, R.I.P. <laughs> Yeah, and he goes, uh, well, looks like I'm entering the crusty the crown, clown phase of my life. Oh. Somebody underneath and another buddy of mine just goes, no, man, it's more like this. And he just, he just put a picture of Bozo the Clown. The B-ring, dude. People know. It's catching on, the Bozo ring. 
The bozo ring. It's sad. I read the rest of the posts, and people were sympathetic, obviously. They're like, hey. I think if that's. Propecia is an answer that a lot of people give. Mm-hmm. I don't understand what's wrong with going clean bald. Everybody, friends of mine who have just gone clean bald, it's fucking dope. So specific. And you, the upkeep on it. On is, going clean bald? Yeah. Is it really? Yes. So you can't picture like a, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like you can't even let it go. So how much you have to shave, right? Oh, yeah. So you shave what? Every day. Almost if every day, supposed, yeah. If you were clean every day, you'd be, you'd be shaving every day. Yeah, if I, look, so if I, if head, I could grow a beard, like, huh? if I could grow a beard, I would. But I can't, I can, obviously, it's patchy. So that's why, that's why I shave every day. Or every other day, pretty much, is, is simply because uh, it grows in, in patches. Right. Um, but man, yeah, you're right. I, I didn't think about that. You'd have to shave. I mean, it's not every day, but I mean, it's as much close. as your hair grows and i forget what the rate is but basically yeah so that's like when girls have the short haircut right mm-hmm. like oh, i'm gonna it's gonna be easier i'm just gonna get a bob no don't I'm do just it ladies. Get a bob. don't do it it's ladies. not easier because it go your haircut changes so quickly so like within three months you've got a completely different you know what i'm saying mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just harder. You have to style it every single day. But anyway, just so you guys know, bangs and a bob. Think about it. For the ladies? For the ladies. Yeah, don't and then do clean it. clean bald, you know, you got a you gotta razor on your head. like. Yeah, I saw Katy Perry just got her hair finally longer. It's a wig, but yeah. Oh, is it really? Mm. Fuck. Yeah. Look, I thought it was real. Mm. Uh, either way. Um, Good look. Better. Y- yeah. yeah. It made her look older. What made her look older? The, the short, short hair? The short, short hair, yeah. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. She can pull it off, which I never say. But mm. she was doing it. Yeah, yeah. She was doing it. She was out in these streets. Yeah, she was. I didn't know she was engaged to Orlando Bloom, by the way. You didn't? No. I saw him. Uh, Welcome. When I saw his dick on that paddle boat, I should have known. Well, they broke up for a little while after ah, that. Ah, after and the paddle boat? Yes. The dick picked paddle so boat So they were pick? broken up. Remember when she did that big brother thing? She let people yes. look on her life or whatever. So yeah. they were broken up at that time. Okay. And you and I were both saying that she was like, she's kind of going through something. She was like crying. Yeah, and she was near Britney level. Yeah. Like she was definitely, and she wanted to be called her real name. And like, she just doesn't want to do this anymore. What is her real name? Something, Cat Catherine. Something. Catherine. Let's say. Let's see. Um, Gross. I'll get back to you in a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. Of you gotta work out your interwebs. But anyway, so uh, after that, they kind of Catherine Elizabeth Hudson. So she wanted to be Catherine Hudson. Call me Catherine Hudson, not Katy Perry. Ah. I want to get back to my true self. Boom, she gets American Idol, fifteen mm. million. What did they pay her? Yeah, fifteen a season. She's getting the most on the show, whatever it is. Fifteen million a season, mm-hmm. yeah. And after that she goes, pops right out of it. Call me Katy Perry. <laughs> Forget about all that shit I said. Yeah. Orlando, get back over here. Yep. Let's get married. And yeah. then she's just back on her old shit. For O Bloom, that's a big boy move, because I mean she's what, on her second or third season of that. She's mm-hmm. pulling at least thirty from that along with all the other bullshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw that copyright thing she just got hit with. Yes. That copyright suit. Yes. Here's what I will say about that. Um, not that I'm a big fan of Catherine Perry. Catherine Hudson. Catherine Hudson now Perry. I will, now I will only call her that because of her one stint where she wanted to be called that. K-Hud? Mm-hmm. Just call her K-Hud. But there's already a K-Hud. Is there? Um, is it J-Hud? My, my new husband, my soon-to-be new husband's stepdaughter, Hudson. No. Hudson. Kate Hudson? Yes. She's not K-Hud. You've called her K-Hud before. <laughs> Pull up the tape. Roll the tape. That's the thing. I've got it on record. He can't. You need a couple minutes? Okay, he can't really pull it up right now. No, but it's gonna, the audience it's knows that you've called her K-Hud Maybe before. they do, maybe they don't. Because <laughs> you told the story about her being a little loose, fast and loose in the Staples Center. She's great. And uh, you're like, K-Hud. There's a, there's a reason why she's got so many fucking kids with different people, but... Um, the, the thing with the Katy Perry thing, she, she got popped for, um, uh, copyright, because copyright infringements on a song. Mm-hmm. I, I listen to both of those songs, man. That's a fucking tough one. Cause it's beat alone, right? 
They're going Be- off beats. Beat. Yeah. And it's like, man, that's rough. It, it is. I mean, it, 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 the only thing that it might be true and I'll say might is because I, I, look, I looked further into it. It was a Christian group. She's super Christian. So maybe she was listening to some Christian shit, but I don't know, man. Yeah. But we've talked, we talked about this when this came out mm-hmm. and it's, it's such a weird area. A and lot of these interesting territory. And I think that people that are really in music would probably have a different, almost this kind of the same um, opinion as us. Right. Unless the song's getting stolen from you. But if you are, you know, out in the streets making stuff, trying yeah. to find a new song or somebody sends you something, right? Like people send her music. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. how do you go through every single thing to find out if the person that sent it to you stole? I know. You know, it, it, it's a, she it's a weird write world. Her own music. Because look, you've got pedophiles. That's the lowest form of humans on this on this earth. Sure. ISIS just above that. Right. Uh, I would say the music industry is right there at three. Right. Um, and then lawyers right above that, obviously. So that's your top four. Right. Yeah. The music industry itself is such a fucking garbage place that a lot of these cash grab suits are out there. Um, I, that I don't, I don't know, man. Like I, she took it to trial for a reason. Like I will say this: the ones that Ed Sheeran has been involved in, in he has ended them pretty quickly, settled right and yes. paid, yeah, but really, really quickly. And so I don't know if he. It, it was either he was in the wrong or he didn't want to keep spending money to go to trial. This, this one actually went to trial. So this was, a, this was a costly one for Katy Perry. I think if she took it, she probably would have wanted to bury it and, and try to get away from it. Like uh, The last one I can remember of these going to trial was uh, Robin Thicke's kid. Oh, yeah. What the fuck's and that guy's he name? lost or... Um, or it is Robin Thicke. Um, and then the dad was... Alan, Alan. Thicke, yeah. R.I.P. Six inch thick. R.I.P. Yeah. And he won or lost? He lost. Mm. Him and Pharrell. And I'm sure Katie, it was blurred Katie lines. Will, lose, will lose too. She did. Yeah. So the, the, the verdict came in. Uh, she's got to pay a half a million. And the label's got to pay 1.5. Um, so whoever this Christian rock group is is getting because, $2 million. Because, and the reason the label has to do it is because someone sent her the song. She recorded it, and she's taking, what, half a million? To, what does she have to pay? Yeah, she's got to pay half a million. Half a million because that's the label's what she's kind of like, 5. you know, she's taking a little bit of responsibility, but I'm sure she wanted to just be like, dude, you brought me this song. You need to find out if it's somebody else's fucking song. I can't, like, listen to every band, right, and right. make sure that I'm not stealing from someone. Yep. And it would be different, like I said, if she wrote the music. You know, if yeah. she wrote it, if she even wrote lyrics, which she doesn't No. So it's, it's hard for me to be like, why is she even in court? To be honest with you. I, t- I told you, I've said this on the show about how I had dinner with one of her writers and, uh, her songwriters. And mm-hmm. it's one of those things where, uh, you know, middle of the night, Katy Perry will be listening to shit in the studio and then they'll call in the writers and everything. Like it's a whole fucking process. Right. So. Man, I, I don't know on that one. Um, I don't know about K-Hud, you know? But what do you know about? What do I know about? Mm-hmm. With Katy Perry? Just in general. How'd you sleep? Last night? Mm-hmm. Really nice. Why? What'd you sleep on? Oh, <laughs> slept on a ghost bed, James. What? Don't think that I forgot about the sponsors. I didn't think that. I did not forget about the sponsors. I know. They pay... For this whole oh. fuckery to be on the air, James. <laughs> I wanted to go longer with that one. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost on our sponsors, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. I just have never started the sponsor thing, clearly, because <laughs> that was not how you start it. But. California girls, they're unforgettable. Chinese food bikinis on top. Isn't that Katy Perry? Mm-hmm. Either way, uh, they have California Kings at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Yeah. It was a monster segue I just gave you. Monster a lot better segue. Than mine. <laughs> that segue was so big. 
that Kevin James could ride on it in a fucking mall. No? Okay. <laughs> Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is uh, yeesh. It's got the <laughs> most comfortable mattresses you'll ever sleep on in your whole life. Bleep on. Bleep on. Sleep oh. on. Sleep on and bleep on, brother. That's good. Yeah. Because you're bleeping on it. Yeah, you are. Uh, military first responder. Guess what? You're getting an extra 15% off. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click it, and then check out, dude. I mean, not. Stay alive, but you know, obviously, check out of the online click, store. Click it, and then and, and then pay pull for the it. Trigger, yep. or not pay for it. Here's what I'm talking about: oh, thirty six yes, months, pay as you go program. No money down, by the way. No interest, no money down. No one's doing that online. If you're a regular civilian like myself, you get two hundred dollars off a of Ghost Lux, a hundred dollars off uh, the Classico, and some free pillows right now. And don't forget about those adjustable bases. Yeah, Jabes. You're like bass or treble? Treble or bass. <laughs> Which one do you like? Tell me. Here comes treble. Uh, <laughs> go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Shabloinker. Shabloinker. Oh my gosh, the people love it. Yep. Um, oh, they're in their cars they are right now. So excited. Just stabbing they're their not ear yelling. Holes. They're not turning it off. Nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. They are loving every second of it. <laughs> they're going in harder, turning up faster. Turning it up. Yeah. Rewinding. Add more bass to their car. Skipping back, skipping <laughs> forward. Pressing 15 seconds back. On- <laughs> On iTunes. Uh, Strike Force Energy has got four amazing flavors. Orange, ridge, grape, lemon. No carbs or sugars. Lasts longer than five-hour energy. And uh, you can just pop that in anything. Good to go. Good to go, bro handle. Bro handle Smithsonian. Do you have some right now? I do. <laughs> can you tell? Uh, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. They ship everywhere around the entire world, including Guam. Just I, I went on the site, I typed in Guam, and it says it'll be there Friday. So, eh. 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 Last but not least, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you rock it! No, oh, that's nasty, isn't it? Yeah, wiggle Orange. it just, just a, a little, little bit. bit. Wiggle, wiggle it, it just, just a little bit. bit. I don't know what that means, but what I do know is that straight razors have got some of the finest razors in the land. And grooming products, everything you need. To be a real man in this life. To be a real man, to be a real groomed man. And that doesn't mean that you aren't, you know... Manly, yeah. right? It's not metro or whatever. Nope. It's not gay. Yeah, you don't have to be an axe chopper. You nope. can be an axe chopper. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But okay. you can still be groomed, lined up. Yeah, edged. Smelling good. Uh, clean shave. Soft skin. Beard. Skin fades. You know. You do a skin fade? I have. Have you really? What is that? I saw, I passed a barber shop and I just said, we do skin it's fades. It's where... <laughs> Fuck it's where that? it's like skin super, super short all the way up to here, right? And then it fades up. Oh, I'm going to do one of those after I chop off the summer Swayze hair. Um, no. <laughs> no. I think I've been through enough. Uh, you don't want a skin fade? I'm not minding what's happening right now. This is too much, man. I've, I've seen some pictures now and it's, I'm starting to look... <laughs> Uh, Homeless, like, I know. No, but I, I'm starting to look pre-op. Like this is starting to be Caitlin. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I, I should say go to straightracers.com. Uh, promo code Revolution twenty percent off. It, like down, it would be kind of a bomb. Yeah, huh? it's, yeah. It's, we're getting close to like, hey man, are you gonna shave your Adam's apple soon, or what are you doing with that? Right. Um, I gotta eye, get rid of this. One-eyed jacks are wild. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> just just so everybody out there knows, uh, we're doing a Drinking Bros cruise that Carnival is, is putting on. I will, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have somebody come up on stage and cut it off. So, you know. You're going to have to think about how you want them to do that. Are you going to go in ponytail? Do Pony. you want them to cut the ponytail off? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go genuine. 
Get on it, my, my pony. pony. Yeah. Yeah. Ride it. Could because it you all. know if you do do that, it is going to be a straight bob, which would be so great. So it would be awful. So good. So for the rest of the cruise, you just have to have a can I talk to your manager? I, I'm going to. Because it'll be like this. Up <laughs> if you have them cut off the ponytail. And I'll, you'll be like, oh, James, can you fix it? And I'll fix it to exactly an Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> so have fun on the cruise. I mean, I'll be there, but have fun. <laughs> have fun without me. No, I'm going to, uh, we'll do it the last night. So that way we can fly home and you can, you can cut it up properly. What are you going to do to it? What do you want? Is it, here's the thing. So for the audience at home, you, yes, you've been through enough. I've been through a lot hair wise. So with you. you can do whatever you want to it. How about that? Now, here's the other question, and we're getting into football season. We are. Are you going to have some other kind of weird hair bet? No. I will, not, I will not do that to you. This one's gone a long time. What are you going to do then? You'll have to think about it. But, yeah, can it not be a hair bet? That's all. No, or I, if no. you make a hair bet, so, just don't lose. He, here's the deal. So we, we, we re, re-signed with uh, MyBookie.com, and uh, there's like – a gigantic competition now at the end of the year. Okay. It's a hundred dollar entry fee. And the winner at the end of the season wins a hundred thousand dollars. So that's pretty fucking big. I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't have to do hair bets or anything. I mean, that's a, that's a big boy prize. So that'll, that'll do winner gets a hundred grand. So I'm, I'm good on this. Uh, I'm, I'll let you do whatever you want. Since I've put you through hell with my hair, you can do whatever you want. So you think about it. What do you want? What do you want to do? I mean, I would do, kind of a like longer on top and om a little like a Vandenham kind of but a natural Vandenham does that make sense I'll, I'll see what it is I'll let you do it I don't give a shit like you know what I'm saying yeah you know what I mean I, I, I'll show you pictures I do and I don't I'll show you pictures of Brad Pitt but I'll, I'll let you, you like uh, well better looking than him so show me show me a picture of myself um, right <laughs> but I'm just saying like you can imagine if you were that ugly yeah yeah, that guy. Oof. Mm-hmm. Oof. So just like cover up his face and just be like, okay. Uh, they were talking about him being up for two Oscars this year uh, for that space movie too. Oh. Mm. I enjoyed him in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I just didn't enjoy that movie. Again, you did enjoy him in Once Upon a Time. I did, yeah. Okay. I did. And I liked, uh, I liked DiCaprio. I well, just... DiCaprio was amazing. As I usual. wish I could have gotten in there, written written a few comedy lines, but uh, exactly. she could have helped out. Well, you should have answered that call. Yeah. So <laughs> I know you got to get that phone fixed. Um, so uh, Brad Pitt is always Brad Pitt, right? And what I see him doing a little bit is, you know, this Clooney thing? Mm-hmm. You know, Clooney is very... He has this kind of <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Mm, surprise the, the, yeah the surprise face and a cadence now when he's doing when he's not doing serious movies that's um hard to deal with okay and that's kind of what I found with with Brad Pitt is that he had this very okay measured cadence all right well he's never name you love him as an actor. What's Who? your favorite? Brad Pitt, do you? Yeah, you oh, yeah. think he's so good? Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy Brad Pitt, yeah. I enjoy As an shit. actor? Yes, correct. Okay, what, like, what's your favorite? My favorite Brad Pitt movie of all time. That he, oh, you thought boy. he was like the I'm best. Gonna, I'm going to take some fucking heat for this one. It doesn't have to be the best movie. Relax. Movie. I'm saying the movie that you think. Relax, he- James. It's like a weave. What? Relax. Huh? Um, you got to relax that weave. I- Tell me to relax one more time. Relax. Um, <laughs> so my favorite Brad Pitt movie is Legends of the Fall. Yeah. I fucking love Legends of the Fall. What's fucking wrong with that? Legends of the Fall, Brad? I love that movie. I, but I, I generally just lo- I like, I like the movie. I think it's, I think it's fucking great. Like, I for would real. say the one time that I was like, maybe he's good is A River Runs Through. I was going to say that. So that's yeah. my number twosies with Brad Pitt. Maybe you're right. Um, so that's my onesie twosies with Brad gets Pitt. older. I liked him in Ocean's, uh, uh, the Ocean's right. Eleven shit. I you're liked right. all of it. You're right. Okay, so whatever the character was that he was doing in mm. Once Upon a Time, I wasn't loving. I, I, I liked it. Okay. I liked it. I just wish he had more to do with it. It's hard when... It's hard when you don't have enough dialogue for a character that cool and fun where you're like, oh, man, 
you could have done this mm. or yeah i don't know i might have to see it again i look there's people friends of mine who are going back to see it like twice already and i think you have to and i think that's part of it is that uh you just love tarantino so much that you go this cannot be bad can it yeah. i have to see it I know, again i know we talked about it on the last show and maybe so you gonna... should would you man what maybe you should go see it again i might yeah i might and just like reset i'm not gonna see that Mind fucking reset. hobbs and shaw bullshit this weekend oh no no man now did they film that in hawaii yeah no they didn't oh okay. god yes because uh yeah. the rock did all of his press there yeah and was in one a, of the in reporters LA, and yeah <laughs> i mean he was you basically they basically went to his vacation yeah in hawaii so one of the reporters finally this week just said hey man we're why are we here why like, are we here what can is you just this? admit that you're on vacation and we're here with it and but the, by the way the reporter goes i'm not mad because i get to go to hawaii and it's fucking awesome and i but. think that's why no one said anything if they were like <laughs> hey come to detroit or whatever they would have disclosed right so somebody did say something and there was a an article i read last night that was crazy to me like i could not believe it because i've never heard of this shit before uh, in all of his movies, in all of the Fast and the Furious movies, because this is a spinoff of Fast and the Furious, there is a fight. There's fight rules in it of how many times you can get punched before punching another person, and you can't get beat up fully, and all this other shit. It was mind altering. So all right, now break this down. Unpack yes. this. Though. Okay. So, um, what are the Vin rules? Diesel? Uh huh. Has a doesn't want to look like a pussy. Got it. Uh, Jason Statham doesn't want look, look like Got a pussy. It. The Rock doesn't so want to look like a pussy. they have equal amounts. But by time. So, like, there was a... One of them got thrown against a wall, and eight seconds later, he was throwing the other guy against a wall. Um, Vin Diesel even... And this was in the New York Talk Times. Talk about divas, you guys. He, this was in the New York Times, and this producer that was quoted in it was one of my producers on The New Guy, and I was like... I didn't know he produced the Fast and Furious franchise, and I was like, motherfucker. Um, I'd have taken that role over Paul yeah. Walker. And I'd still Again, be alive. You, you have got to get that phone fixed. I'd still be alive. Um, <laughs> you are missing all these calls. Well, no, I'm not. Um, uh, and not at all, because I, I didn't even fucking know about Fast and Furious at all. But uh, with that, he was the one who said, yes, this is true. And he goes, let's, let's face it. It's fucking vanity, and everybody wants to be seen as an alpha, right? Absolutely. And they have to put the rules in place so that it's nobody saying. So Vin Diesel put up a point system. That was like for headbutts, you get two points. Punches, you get one. Kicks, you get three. And so at the end of it, you could tally up the points. And then and eventually the studio nixed that. It was like, that's too fucking complicated. Seriously, let's just. But each of them, like they said, like Statham pops into edits and is just like making sure he's not getting punched too much and looking like a fucking pussy and all this shit. And I'm like, holy fuck, man. Wow. It's a movie, dude. Like. These are all characters and things and everything else. Um, By the way, I, if this came out about Jennifer Lopez and Mariah Carey in a movie, it would be like all over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah, By yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah. yeah. So, so, diva. I, I, I was like, man, I started laughing in this article and I kind of dismissed it, right? I, I knew we were going to talk about it today, but I kind of dismissed it as like, what the fuck? This is going to be a crazy story to tell on the show. When I woke up this morning, I was trying to think of any other instances that I knew of. I do know of another one that was like, wait, what? Um, a friend of mine was cast, and this was out of L.A., so it wasn't here in Wilmington because the show shot Wilmington, on One, one Tree Hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, his character was raping a girl at a party or about to uh -huh. in, in the thing, and then Chad Michael Murray comes in and beats him up. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently this wasn't in the original script for this particular show. So said friend of mine gets flown all the way from L.A. to Wilmington, gets to set, and they give him the new script, which, which happens on every movie, TV show. Sure, everything. there's just a little bit changes, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, and they give you new pages, minute. so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it'll be you know, beige or whatever the, the pages are. Um, and he goes, I'm not fucking doing this. Your friend. Yeah, he goes, I'm, I'm not fucking doing this. And they're like, what? And, they, and he goes, dude, Chad Michael Murray would never beat me up in real life. So. Do I know this friend? Yes. And he goes, yeah, I know uh, who it is. And he goes, uh, you can get fucked on this. Like, if he's going to throw me through a wall or whatever, he's like, he can ask me to leave <laughs> in this scene. 
<laughs> but he's not going to fucking punch me and throw me right, into a right, wall. Right, 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 right. Dead serious. I like it. I like it. So at the time, I think One Tree Hill was maybe in season two or three. It was huge. I mean, it was fucking huge, right? Um, not that the show isn't so to say I- that iconic was anyways. kind of like a big deal. At the time, yeah. yeah. And so it got down to the studio calling saying, look, we'll fucking blacklist you for a year, man. Um, if you don't do this, like, is this going to fuck up our production? Uh, not only did you pay, because back in the day, and I don't, I don't know if it's the same anymore, even guest stars, when you're, you were flying out of LA, you got first class travel. Oh, yeah. You got suites, um, per diem, all this other, I mean, rental cars. Because they had so much money to use, yep. they had to like get rid of it. It was phenomenal, yeah. yeah. So um, they were like, dude, and, and the salary, right? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. technically, you could go in and ask for arbitration from Screen Actors Guild and say, I want, I want to keep this money because they changed the script. I mean, this is not the role I signed on for. Mm-hmm. So I, I think he, cause he got the money mm-hmm. and he got all the flights and all that other shit. And he was here. And, uh, and they were like, look, man, you, if you don't fucking play ball, we'll nuke you. And that's exactly what happened to him. So he didn't play ball. No. He said, fuck you. Fly me home. I need to make sure I know who this is. Yeah. He said, fuck you. Fly me home. And, uh, and that was it. And then after that, he didn't work for like a year and a half. So I, it's totally real what happened and everything else, but uh, that was, and I was like, oh shit! When I when I remember that story this morning, I was like, man, yeah, I I do know of people who do that. Me personally, I just don't care. Like it's all pretend, anyways. So Again, who, who gives a shit? Full circle, going back to the beginning of like actors think that they are <laughs> the most important part of whatever said show or movie. Yeah. And there are so many moving parts. There's so many people doing so many things that like you getting thrown against a wall or whatever it may be is like the smallest, smallest by, by the way, part of the entire thing. For the audience, that, yes, the, the, he was correct. Chad Michael Murray could not beat him up. So. Absolutely. But <laughs> I mean, there's probably other unrealistic parts of that story as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, would you be with that chick? I don't know. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Pure chaos. Well, it's, bo- it's pretend. There was an actor who asked me to write him out of a makeout scene. Why? He did not find the other woman attractive whatsoever. And he said she made him sick. That's some <laughs> Chad shit, you guys. I don't even want to no. hear that. You know who it is. I don't know who it is. You do. You, you, well, I've never told you, but you've worked with him. So that's all I'm going to say. You've actually done a movie with him. And, hey, uh, I was supposed to make out with him in that movie. <laughs> Blammo! Uh, nailed it! Nailed it! Yes, yeah, so I was like, hey, man, are you serious? And, um, and it was right before the scene. And he goes, yeah, can you rewrite this? And I was like, yeah. And I had to figure out a story to lie to the actress about why it happened. And I was like, all right. So I was like, yeah, you're just going to, instead of kiss, you're going to fall into his lap and then hug and it's going to be that how about, thing. How about you don't, you don't want to have a makeout scene. So you write, gives him a blowjob <laughs> for <laughs> 10 hours straight. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. It's <laughs> pretend, bro. Could you imagine he's oh. throwing, throwing him a beach for. Didn't want to make out. Cool, it's beach time, it's brother. Beach time, brother. <laughs> and you've got to like fake it. Ooh. <laughs> I like how that's your beach noise for a dude. Ooh. <laughs> God. Every, <laughs> every dick who's listening to this show, every dick attached to the men who are listening to this show, it just went, wow. It was never up to begin wah, with. Wah. I would hope they're not watching this with a boner. Yeah, if not, they turtle shelled it. Just went back inside. That head went back I don't inside. Think that's the term. The skin. The turtle shelled it. Yeah, just goes right back in the turtle shell. I think that's for the uh, other. The other side. Shrunken up head. So when people say they have a turtle head poking out. Uh, that's Is that taking a half a hard? Shit. Oh, no, okay. No, no. So now I'm just really confused. <laughs> Gosh, all these terms. I don't know. James. All these terms, these man. These are all by professionals. <laughs> these are all. He turtle shelled it back. But then it, the, and then the other one. These are all, Gosh, me- these are all medical and professionals. I, yep. 
And gosh, I love that you guys have that little that little Chad boys group that you can write each other <laughs> fucking make out scenes or not. So fun to hear. It's really so fun to hear. <laughs> I work with all dudes. And yeah, that yeah. is true. Yeah. And that is true. After this guy dies, I'll tell you who it is. You have to tell me before. You don't have to say it on the show. I will. I will tell you afterwards. But um, after he dies, but, I'll, I, but for the oh, audience, after he dies, you'll tell the audience. I'll tell the audience. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, listen, bro. <laughs> Unless he's on his deathbed right now, you're gonna need to tell me. Not that I know of. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe we all are though. Him and that chick are married. Wouldn't that be great? They're definitely not. Definitely not. I can uh, promise you that. I can promise you that. Yeah, he probably turtle turtle head. Yeah, he turtle did. headed her. Turtle headed. Gosh, um, I'm still not understanding that. Well, you're not thinking about it right. Uh, an oh, alien. Oh, so it's maybe a two headed turtle. Yeah, it's going back and forth. <laughs> That's a. Uh, There's are, one head for the back. Anyway, those are things now. Okay, what were you gonna say? Two headed turtles. They're working on the fucking monkey man right now. What do you mean? They've got a monk. They've got the half monkey half half man those uh that genetics test mm -hmm. they saying they're, they're saying they're really far along now at this point i don't know why they're fucking doing it but we talked about I this on another only show have a certain amount of space in my head for the monkey man no just for everything and like <laughs> stuff like that like when you said it it just kind of bounced off and went out <laughs> Because it's just like I cannot even, I don't have. Sure. It just kind of skipped off the old dome. It just like, it went just like ricocheted back to you. Yeah, you bet it did. Because I don't it did. understand it. I don't yeah. know why it's happening. I don't know what we're going to gain from it. Anywho, Jabes, with the next one, this is also going to be related to that monkey, monkey boy. Um, an alien hunter has discovered that China has its own Area 51. Now that will never be taken back. Like we're going to take back the one here, by the way. Oh, okay. But the one in China is fine. Yeah. yeah. No, the Chinese government's got their people on lock. That's what happens in a dictatorship. I would actually believe that they have one more than us. I believe, I would believe that the, that China has an alien locked up way before I would believe that we have one here. Why is that? They're just better at stuff. Better at capturing aliens. I'd say Just no on that one. Things like that. No, I'd say no on that one. I think. I think. I know Americans are way better at capturing aliens in China. I, and but I think that's the only thing we have them beat on. Mm -hmm. Everything else is you know smarter, better food. Love Chinese food. Love it so much. I could eat it every day. I really could. You been to China? Uh, no. So, I, I mean, it's, it's just food so over a, there, but yeah, but so you've, you've hmm. had American Chinese food, right? Yeah. Which is whatever, man. It's, it's China. Chinese food is Chinese food. Okay. You know, okay. um, I'm one of those people where, cause could, when you go there, it really is a lot of beaks and vaginas, eh. you know what I mean? And like feet. It, it, there's that here though. If you want to go down to nippies, fucking soul food place, palace down the, the, you know, Pig's feet or whatever the fuck they got stewing up. Nippy's Soul Food Palace. Nippy's Soul Food Palace, yeah. <laughs> In Wilmington. I'm sure they got a lot of fucked up what shit What I was saying was True, not Jamie? Racist. Yes or no? What I was yeah. saying was not racist because it was Asian. I'm not either. Okay. I'm just saying like soul food is, is mostly like... Uh, is it really? I'm mm -hmm. not going to... I can't repeat that on air what you just said, but... Um, soul food is soul food. So anyway... But it's like pig's feet and like shit like that. Sure. Um, uh, either way. Uh huh. Um, Chinese food is, is okay. the best. Okay. I'm, so hot bars are kind of taking over grocery stores all over America. Mm -hmm. Every, even fucking the shitty kitty food line's got a hot bar now. Um, oh, yeah. They're trying. Yeah. They got wings and shit. And uh, every single one of these, like Harris Teeter and all them, they, they have like uh, Chinese food. And all them? Yeah. All them's got them. How's all them's got. How's your mom and them? Um, uh, all, <laughs> all them's, them's all them's got it. Um, all, all them's got the fucking Chinese food. Sure. So I'm and, one of those people. Absolutely, yeah. I'm one of those people that breeze by, and I take one one nugget, like a general sal nugget, if I'm in there. And you don't pay for it. No, I just put it in my mouth. 
Wow. Move on with my day. Wow. That's how much I love Chinese food where I'm like, man, I'm going to pop on over there and just grab a. You have such blatant. Grab a little thing. I'm I'm spending money there disregard, every day. Disregard, yeah. I'm spending money every day. My hands are clean. Mm-hmm. My hands are real clean. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't subscribe to <laughs> I don't walking in there. Do anything with no with my hands I don't. to make them dirty. I don't. <laughs> it's true. Because I'll wipe the cart too. Like I'll wipe the cart oh, handle. Oh, you yeah. of those. Yeah. I, Two I, I kinds know of people kids are fucking this. sneezing all over them. Just like you sneezed all over the Panera last night. <laughs> I didn't sneeze in it. It was to the side. Like I held the bag up like this. So everybody out there who's got kids, obviously kids <laughs> love grilled cheese. Panera is the <laughs> easiest in and out for grilled cheese. We get this big bag of Panera because my, my mom is in town. Hand it over to I you because we this, just finished the, the show. It's going to be fake. And... I hand you the bag, Mm-mm. bag's wide open, Mm-mm. and you just sneeze violently into the fucking I did Panera not, bag. I did not sneeze into it. <laughs> and I didn't have my hands to cover. I'm holding the bag. So I had to go to the side like this yeah. and like held the bag up. You didn't make it. You sneezed all over the Panera. That I Panera had not, a lot of bro. sneeze in it is what I do know, Jabes. I did not, dude. So yeah, man, I'm fucking entitled to grabbing a, a quick General Sal chicken or... Uh, and that the breaded one. What's the breaded one? Orange. No, not that one. Kung Pao. Yeah, probably, probably like Kung Pao. No, uh, that's not breaded. I'll just pop, I'll pop one in my mouth and then be on my way. You know, and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, that's great. It's great. I'm calling the cops, but yeah, definitely, <laughs> uh, definitely have fun with that. Just know if I've been inside a Harris Teeter after 4 p.m. My my fingers weekday. have been all inside. Uh, yeah, no, can- I'm very. Do you use your fingers, by the way? Yes, and I, gra- I grab one, but it's, I got it down to a technique like this. Can you see this on camera? Subscribe on YouTube so you can see how much Chinese food I'm stealing. It's just these two fingers. Boom. Ooh, and I, just in the fucking thing? I, I, pick it, I pick it and pop it. I pick it and pop it right in my, my gullet. Boom. Pick it and pop it, and I move on with my day. I'm so fast about it, too. No one notices. No one's ever said anything. So. Okay. James, okay. that's that's who I am. That's what I do. Sure. I'm a man that of, knows what he wants, and I need to taste test all the food for the environment that I live in. Well, good ruck. <laughs> <laughs> good ruck with that, buddy, because I think it's gross. You don't like the Chinese food in there? I just, I'm picturing you putting your little fucking fingers <laughs> in the Kung Pao and like, no, nobody sees you and you're so you you have such blinders on like a lady is watching you I promise behind you going what the fuck and she's mentioning it to her husband or whoever she's with but you are so like you do not even see stuff like that no I don't need to don't you need are to. just like I mean you go to the pool you park the fucking golf cart just like right in the bike holder yeah. right there's spaces On the side where everybody parks their golf cart. And they're all parked there, by the way. Plenty of spaces. And it shows, you know, you can clearly see where everyone else is. And Ross literally pulls up practically to the gate. I'm surprised you don't go through the pool gate and just park right at the stairs of the pool. I'm surprised there's not an announcement for when I walk into the pool. And everybody. And you think that people don't talk about it. Do they really? Yes. Like you are just so. (laughs) And they they say, who is that? Who is parking that? They know they can't park there. Right. And I'm like, I'm going to get a fucking email. dude. (laughs) And it's just like, you just, it's like every commercial ever. It's like somebody just, they park and just get out in the middle of the road. Like I'm here. Yep. That's what it's like. Uh, You're welcome. You're welcome. Fingers in the Kung Pao. Nobody knows. There's two ladies behind you that are just like gross like I'm, skip the kung pao is what I'm, they're telling their I'm husband i'm pretty cautious about it i'm pretty positive i could i could have been a cia operative so uh when i go in there for my uh Cringe, dude my kung pao i'm pretty quick <laughs> really quick now do you ever go in just for that little nugget and then leave <laughs> <laughs> that would be next level thievery no, because I would out? feel guilty I didn't buy something. Oh, like, that would be super You'd feel guilty? Up. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Your threshold of, of feeling that way is You got to buy something to, to take a nugget, I feel, you know? <laughs> I feel you do. Right Where in, else would you do that? Right into the Facebook page, Ross Patterson Revolution on Facebook. Where Let me know if you do you it, because I think a lot of people do. Because, you know, they've got those items that are out, right? Ralph's. One of them is the Alouette cheese. That's garlic, and they give you the uh, those pretzel, those mm-hmm. pretzel thins. 
What are they called? That's European Velveeta, by the way. But yeah, those little <laughs> like it is. I who did I bring it to? They were from Europe. Probably Isabel was just like, that's like Velveeta to us. But anyway, I go, I love it. So um, same. the little pretzel chips and you dip in there. What are you saying about that? Those are out for all of the public to consume. Uh huh. So. You know, so then everything imagine is. Imagine how many fucking. Sure, you just start opening bags. Dirty ass. That's out. <laughs> <laughs> imagine how many dirty ass hands have been in that thing. Like just scooping, scooping and it's dipping. Scooping and dipping, but that's at your own risk because you know that it's happening. But when you go to the Kung Pao, you're not thinking in your mind that old boy <laughs> has fucking like picked a nugget out. So it's like there's things that are like. It's like society does not. <laughs> I don't know, like rules of the world do not apply to you. No, they don't. They never have. We would go to Ralph's in L.A. We were dating and you would drink a full (laughs) Smirnoff ice (laughs) as we're fucking shopping. And you would tell me because, you know, I'm that way. So you're like, I'm going to I'm going to buy it. Stop like I'm going to buy it. And then you would stash it somewhere, leave it on a shelf or something before we get to the counter. And I'm like, where's but I can't. Say, well, I couldn't where's let him know off? that I was, drink- <laughs> I was drinking it in the store. So he'd be like, sir, you can't drink alcohol in the store. But I needed it. You know, I needed, a, I needed to get ice before we got out of there. You would so. ice yourself yeah. as we fucking shopped. Yeah. Yep. And you would do that there too. Like grab, and you, you would grab like <laughs> gummy bears from the like bulk bin and shit. Oh yeah. That's a must at every store. <laughs> it's not it cool, is, dude. It is. At every store. Uh, the best place to do is Whole Foods. Those oh, garlic sesame seeds. The worst sticks, place. Yeah. You grab a little handful of those, mm. pop them in your mouth real quick. Nobody sure. sees that. Everyone's seeing you. Victimless like, crime. You have to know that. Victimless crime. You are a large, like you're an imp- impo- imposing figure. If you think that you are getting away with anything ever yeah. in public. I'm very nimble your, though for my size. That's your delusion. Do you know what I mean? Very nimble for my size, Shaves. We're here. Get out. <laughs> but this isn't a parking spot. It's all right. It's where I feel like stopping. Oh, you are welcome. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. Um, I feel like it's got to go to Paul Walker because they've got the spinoff of Fast and the Furious happening. Okay. You got to feel like it probably would have been him, right? I feel like we're forgetting him. We're, he's slipping away. Yeah. You know what I mean? The memory of him is slipping away. Yeah, it is. Day by day. It is. And I feel like he might have been the spinoff guy had it not been for all the bullshit yeah, that happened. Yeah, You know? Right? I think so. Because I think uh, the way they're adding people to all this shit, like, w- would The Rock even come into this if, if P-Dubs was still alive? I don't think so. I think they had it pretty locked down. I don't know. Sure. I don't know. But I'm not sure if I've told this story, but I, I did went uh, to go see the new... Like after it went to, uh, who was it? Lucas Black. Yeah. Um, when they changed it, like part two, and then it bombed, and then they brought back, you know, the the original cast. I went and saw the third one. That was the last one I saw, in a uh, in a movie theater in Los Angeles at Universal. Actually, I'll never forget this. I was the only white person in the theater, and I was like, holy shit. At any moment, all of these guys could turn and fucking. And I was sitting next to a black guy, mm-hmm. and he was the only black guy in the movie there. It was all it was all Mexican. Gotcha. And uh, you both were kind of like, "Here we go. Here's y- how we die." Y- yeah, yeah. And, and you know, the, here's the hilarious part. I turned to him and I go, "Holy shit, this is how you felt." And he goes, he starts dying laughing. He goes, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." And I was like, That's "Fuck, awesome. man, this is this is kind of uncomfortable." I understand what you're talking about. You know, what's what's going on? Like, shit, dude, that because that franchise, by the way, I think has been carried by the Latino crowd. Yeah. Um, and it crushes in, in Latin countries and all that other shit. Yeah. Uh, I think that was truthfully one of the biggest parts of, of bringing the rock into that shit mm-hmm. so they could keep catering to that market. But mm-hmm. uh, fucking a man. Uh, Latinos love their cars. Look, love their cars. There was a guy on the fucking news last night whose daughter got killed um, in San Antonio. So I go down. I had to print out a bunch of paperwork, and I was working super late, right? Um, fucking Dan. I don't know what cable system he's got rigged up in, in our house. But oh, great. It's all San Antonio channels. <laughs> so fuck? 
Yeah, there was a NFL preseason started last night, first game of the year. Okay. And I was like, throw that on. And he's like, it was, it was towards the end. And I was like, we were working on paperwork anyways. And it was just like, it was on the background. So after it ended, because um, it was NBC, it went to the San Antonio local news, which is all Latino, by the way. Look, when we know that, we're not talking out of, out of turn. No, I'm that. not speaking out of school here on this one. And... This guy's da- uh, daughter got killed. Yeah. 19 years old. The guy who killed her was 19 years old. Latino dude or whatever. And they, they were like, well, we're going to go to the father to get his remarks on his daughter's death. And, um, and he goes, I mean, dressed like a Mexican person, person who was straight out of central casting. Okay. Sunglasses on during the sure. interview. Sure. Flannel. Uh huh. Wife beater. Gotcha. And he goes, uh, like a little homie. Exactly. Like a little homie. Okay. Little homies, right? Like those dolls. Mm-hmm. And he goes, uh, yeah, man. They got to they gotta get him. They got to get these guys out there on the streets. Um, you know, I miss my daughter. So I painted her on my car. And they pan over to the car. Mm-mm. And her whole uh-uh. head Mm-mm. is spray painted onto this car as a mural. And he's driving this car. That's cool. That's yeah, cool. and he goes, she loved cars. And yep. uh, you know, it's, it's a nice way to honor my daughter. And I was like, holy fucking shit. What is going on? Right. And uh, I turned to Dan and I was like, are you, are we, we're both watching the same thing that's going on, right? And he goes, uh, yeah, man, but that's San Antonio. Like, that's the. Yeah, and he's used to that, right? He so he's totally just like, is. that's fine. Like, and he that's goes, normal. That's the culture. And then just kept on about his day. And I was like, and they just kept panning back to this car and it's like a quit. It's a picture of her on this car. And like, uh, I mean, anyways. All right. I understand who's seeing this movie and look, our Friday shows our, our, our Monday shows tape on Friday. This will probably smash all of the records for all of this shit. And, uh, fucking a man. Yeah. Fucking a Jabes. Hey. Anyways, um, I got to go to the hot bar at Teeter. Grab myself a little. Uh, Grab I gotta your pick daily it and pop nugget. It. I got to pick it and pop it. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the revolution. Kung Pao, everybody. Good night.